let me share with you five reasons why your iPad can be your best Google Workspace companion. Say hello to your new superpower. So let's go ahead and check this out. This is my Google Drive widget, home widget, and there's so many things that I can do straight from here. So the best thing is that I get to see my suggested files on the home page with this widget. I can click on any one of these files and it will give me information just like that. So let's go ahead and jump onto the first one. If you look at this, this is my daily communications. Every day we need to see our updates or whatever's going on and at a fingertip I can just quickly click on this and get to that information. Same is true for other files I could quickly click onto this file here and it would load up my scope and sequence. So I can quickly jump into here see what skill or task I'm teaching for the day uh, and I can quickly check it off. I mean, it doesn't end there. There's so much more that I can do. I can upload files. I can check my drive files, see what's shared with me. So if someone said, hey, Atik, I've shared a file with you. Can you quickly check it out? I can click on shared with me and then get access to that information. So make sure you check this out for yourself. You download it and then you sign into your drive and then you'll have access to loading one of these. Just hold down anywhere on the home screen in a blank space. I'm gonna go ahead and hold down here. What you wanna do when you get the wiggle, go ahead and click on the add button. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the tasks widget here. Select what style of widget you want. I want this one here, it's a two by one. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. I'm gonna add the widget. So I wanna place the widget over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it there, you know, place it wherever you like. So if I go here and I wanna edit the widget, I could choose, you know, if my week's focus was YouTube, I can click on YouTube and then that will show all my tasks for YouTube. All of the widgets are the interactive, so I can go ahead and click add a new task. That would load up my Google task. I could go ahead and start a new task. Okay, so check out the widgets. They're all very convenient. I like my Gmail widget here because I can quickly compose in a quick instant. Uh, and then of course my calendar. Now in my calendar, I don't have any events for the weekend. So there's nothing showing up here. It will show up the events as they come up throughout the week. So moving on to tip two, know when to use Safari versus the iPad apps. Here's a simple rule of thumb. If you want speed, use the iPad app. If you want features, use the web version. So in case you're wondering, I don't download or install those three apps on my iPad. So here we go, I've got a doc loaded up and this is actually the script for this video. Yeah, so these three, doc sheets and slides, always use Safari, don't use the doc version. I can print from here, I can share, I can download, I can insert an image, table, you can do everything. Basically, everything is here on the web version as it is on the iPad in Safari. So I default to using this. Let's jump on to which apps you should be using on your iPad as the app version and not in Safari. So these are the apps that I like to download. Classroom, Jamboard, Drive and Gmail. Drive and Gmail are obvious ones because I have the widgets for them, but Jamboard and Classroom are really awesome for you to be downloading these apps and you can use them with your Apple Pencil. So they're really powerful when it comes to the Apple Pencil. Let's move on to the third tip, which is Jamboard. Now what's Jamboard, I hear you ask. It's a digital whiteboard that lets you share a jam session with up to 50 collaborators in real time. So let's go ahead and load up Jamboard here. Using your iPad, you can write and draw with Apple Pencils. I mean, shapes are normal. Like you can go ahead and use a shape. Fine, yeah, no problem. Is it gonna make it into shape? But what's even more brilliant, I can use the assistive drawing tools to draw, and I'm, I wanna draw an aeroplane, so check this out. Uh, something like that. And see, it recognizes that I'm trying to draw an aeroplane. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my aeroplane here, the one that I want, rotate it like that. So the assistive drawing tools are absolutely fantastic on Jamboard on the iPad. I could go here and add something from my drive. I can add a drive content here, image that you can move around. But if I double click on this, I have access to all of the pages. I can pull out the pages. Look at this. How cool is that? So Jamboard is a very powerful collaborative whiteboard space that you can use in class with your colleagues, Tip four is multitasking. Now you can use your iPad to multitask. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how. So let's just say we open up a document here and we're working on this document, but we wanna have a reference. Our data is in a reference sheet and we wanna use that sheet. So here we go, look, here's my reference sheet. It's over here and I need to use this in conjunction with that doc. So all I need to do is hold it down, drag it, so now we've entered multitasking, which is pretty awesome. Grab one of these, like, you know, I need to make a reference to some data or this particular skill that I was, I was teaching. So I'll go ahead and copy and paste it right there. And that's really easily done. Let's open up Classroom. 
And I remember there was a classwork that I set, which was discovering strengths. So let's go ahead and check this out. I'm opening up the document and this is what it was, but there was a reference presentation as well at the same time. So I'm going to go back to Drive. Here we go. It was this presentation here. I can open it up. So I could go through the presentation, make references to my presentation, as well as make edits to the doc. So this multitasking works really well. It works even better when you start using the Apple Pencil. So here we go, we can multitask by using Jamboard and a different application. And in this case, what I wanna do is I wanna work out, I wanna do a worked example for this particular problem. And I'm just using my reference document. I can annotate on my Jamboard and I can say A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. We're gonna go ahead and use this. So look, we can see a little triangle. It's a little right triangle. So the annotation is actually really good on Jamboard. Now the last tip, tip number five, is using the iPad's cameras, screenshots, and annotations at the same time. So why don't we just start at Google Meet. For Google Meet, the interactions were so much better just using the front-facing camera of the iPad. It was so much more clearer than using the webcam on the MacBooks or a laptop. So it was far better quality. Just that, I mean, just that on its own was worth using the iPad for, but there's a lot more to it as well. The iPad camera has very useful integrations with Google Drive as well. So if you see here on my widget, if I press on the upload button, I could actually go down to here and add your camera. So what's brilliant with this is I can use the back camera or the front facing camera, and then I can create video as well. So I can upload a really quick short for my students, my colleagues, whoever I wanna share this with, and it will upload directly to Drive without me having to record it separately and then you know, uploading it to Drive. I don't need to do that. This will directly upload it to Drive. The benefit of that as well is I've got a far better camera on my iPad than I do with the 360p webcam on a computer or a desktop. So that's another reason why you wanna use your camera. A far better integration is scan a document, basically. So how would I scan a document and share this on Classroom or upload it to my drive. Type in Notes, Notes is basically an Apple free application. Long press on it and then go to Scan Document. Now look what I can do, I can go ahead and scan a document. So here's like a doc, it's, um, it's a worksheet. I'm gonna go ahead and scan this and it's on auto mode. So let's go ahead and scan this. that automatically scanned that shot. Let's go ahead and click on it. It's upside down. What I can do is I can rotate it. Here we go. And then let's crop this. Press on done. And then what I wanna do is I just wanna make it black and white as well. Wow, look at that. Now compare that to this. Fantastic. I can go ahead and share that, upload that to Drive, and now I've used the iPad's camera. Now look, you can't do that with a desktop. You don't have a scan feature on your desktop webcam, and you ain't gonna come out good quality like that as well. I've got my Drive integrated into my system share menu. Look at this. Choose where I want it on my Drive over here, and go ahead and upload it. That's what you get with scan documents. So, five tips. You tell me which one is the most useful tip for you. What tip are you gonna use and start integrating in using Google Workspace applications on your iPad? This machine is a powerhouse. Go ahead and use the most out of it, get the most out of it, and I'll catch you in the next one.